And we have Bananas in chat from Birdie, Humbly B, Surprise Tulpa, Spangle Doo, Spokey Doki, I Love Cats, Buzz D, Lavrelli, Ollie95XZ, Camo J, Shizuku, Iborn, Asmez, Iborn Asmez and Corellio 3, and Caxio Music, and the Bananas have gone off the string. An amazing day with Bananas. Um, appreciate the Bananas, everyone. Appreciate. I appreciate those Bananas. I, I had a banana at lunch today. I liked it. I appreciated it. Let's sort out the uh, the bottom of the screen before everyone starts moaning. Ah, let me resize it. It won't. Hello? There you go. It's being awkward. Bam! Right. It's been resized. By the way, Joe Hills is streaming some uh, Hermitcraft. Peeps, if you want some... If that, if a mod could link to Joe... I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right now. You know what? I always want to raid Joe and he's never around at the same time as me. If you want some double live stream Hermitcraft action, if you want two voices in your ear at once, if you want to get brain dazzled, uh, Joe is streaming. I put the link in chat. Uh, actually, I put the link to his archive. That's that's wonderful. Let's try that again. There you go. Now, now there's a link to Joe Hills' channel in chat. I believe this area here might just be finished. I thought there was going to be more to it than that, but uh, maybe that is it. This is Joe Hills' never hub, by the way. So yeah, head over there and uh, and say hello to Joe. Hang Snus says Il Mango reached 100k subs on YouTube today. Uh, do 100k give any plaque or so? Yes, 100k gets you a uh, YouTube plaque. That's the thing that you can get 100k. So he'll be getting one of those soon. Uh, Dragon Lord says, Will Hermitcraft Season Six be announced this evening? It'll be announced right now, ladies and gentlemen. One week from when that message was sent. Hermitcraft Season 6 is starting, unless someone oh, unless someone else talks about it again, then we'll have to reset the counter. Jeez. <laughs> right, we're heading back to my base because we're going to be doing work over there. If you saw the last episode of Hermitcraft, you'll probably have a little bit of an idea of what I'm up to. Um, we have noises in the ear. We have Shadow Fuzz resubscribing for three months in a row with Amazon Prime. There's the ding -a -ling. I was waiting for the ding -a -ling. Uh, Thank you so much for using your Prime subscription on me. It's greatly appreciated. We also have Mellas Mealy. Here, subscribing with tier one. Thank you ever so much for the wonderful support, peeps. Appreciate it. Appreciate it ever so much. Bam, there's another one. There's another dingaling. Uh Tidmouth, Milk, 12, resubscribing for six months in a row. Did I leave you out here, Glamour Darling, or did some of them made their way into my base? You made your way into the portal and decided to stay there. Hmm. Th there's things hanging out. This thing's hanging out. Uh, Tip Mouth says, hey oh, three months from a Twitch baby, halfway to a year. Thanks so much for the continued support, my friend. It's it's greatly appreciated. I have left these these boxes out here in the open. You know, I was gonna run the sorter. Hey! It's it's There we go. Yes, um, yes, right. Uh, I am throwing junk into these chests. Get rid of the junk. The junk in the trunk, right. The, these things are going back into the chest for now. I need to turn up the noise in my ear. The, the music, that is. <laughs> Llama Craft Server says Z-Perk, brilliant. Everyone keep watching X because I have to go to lunch in a minute anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think, I think, like, Joe's always streaming before I start. I think I usually, it's like on occasion I see he's streaming and I'm like, oh, I'll raid Joe after and he's never, never there by the end of it. Just streams on his break, I think. Next, you have a mechanical keyboard, says Red Bright. I believe I do. It's a little bit loud, isn't it? A little bit chunky sounding. Um, do I need any of this stuff for what we're doing? Well, I will need some stone, but I'll have what I need of stone in here, I believe. So let's go check the list. I have a list of things to do. Yeah, I've got to tidy up. I'm going to need that chest as well. going to tidy up the uh, dirt walls. Lorelli says, when is season 6 starting X? It is now starting exactly one week from when you sent that message. How many times do I have to explain this, you people? 
Hello, Turtle Man, says Neon Gord. Hi. Uh, Flow Gaming T17 says, I followed. Ah, thank you for following. Oh, yeah, I've got a little bit of a grass farm around the back here. I should probably pick this stuff up then, Silk Touch. Yeah, thank you for following. When you follow, you can you can chat in chat, and I read messages in chat, and sometimes I don't read them. Because there's a lot of them. I don't read every single message. Jeez, don't hold me to such high standards already. Uh, Asumi, your announcement video said Season 6 is live now, Dirtface. Did it? Season 6 is live now. I don't think it did. I think it said Season 5. Because we're, we're, clearly we're playing on Season 5. I mean, this kind of looks like Season 5 to me. What do you guys think? Is this Season 5? Um, so I'm sort of concerned about where you can see the dirt. For areas like this... Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I think we should just focus on what you can see to begin with. Uh, let's plop down these two chests. Um, people are saying it says 6 on YouTube. Does it? Let me just... Uh, open that up for a second uh, while that's loading oh I fixed my uh, I fixed my DNS on my computer today there's a Joe Hills raid thank you to all the all the peeps coming over from Joe uh, thank you Joe if you're listening it's appreciated I, I'd, I'd like to raid you at some point as I, as I said a moment ago um, Joe's always just in in the wrong time like there's not really any overlap Okay, I don't think we've got any crafting benches lying around. So we will make one. The thing about crafting benches is I make them and then like you pick them up and you don't want them in the inventory, so you throw them away. And then you never have any crafting benches. You know, that's how it goes. Um, so Drellock66 is here resubscribing for four months in a row and F Fedwi. Fedwi, I think I said it correctly, has uh, resubscribed for 27 months in a row. Crazy support. Thank you so much, everyone. Greatly appreciated. Hope you're uh, enjoying today's stream and having a good time hanging out with us. Going to be working on our base. Going to be, um, yeah, doing some odds and sods here. And then later on, we'll be working out at the Hermit Hill. No, Hermit Hills? Jeez. Jeez, what's this called? What is it called? What is it called? Brain, please. I'm, I'm live streaming. Don't make me look so silly. Uh, the gaming district. Goodness me, that took a while, didn't it? I actually, I'm not going to use these blocks here. I just remembered. I was thinking about like the consistency of how things look, right? You don't have any of those blocks really on the inside. So I don't actually want to use them. Um, we're just here to get rid of the dirt, which means possibly needing to replace it with something else. Gaming District says, Mike, thank you, Mike. That's the one that I seem to fail to say. There's like a little lake of water back there as well. Let's go grab our uh, shovel for this. Uh, eat your tea, says Birdie. Eat my tea. By the way, I've got a cup of tea here today. It is not your regular cup of tea. It is a green tea, okay? Now, that doesn't mean the colour of it is strictly green. There's a little bit of green in there. It's mainly kind of brownish. But who can guess what flavour is X's tea today? I'll tell you, you're going to have a hard time guessing. It's a strange one. It's got two words. Okay. Um, first word begins with C. Second word begins with B. Who can guess what X is drinking? It's like a whole new game, isn't it? Who can... What's X drinking? The video game. Except it's not a video. Yeah, actually, I'm going to do it like this. Just rip all of this out. As far as we can see. Bam, go away. Granite is ugly. Uh, I should get a torch in my hand. That would be a good idea. Uh, citrus Berry from Blue. Blue is guessing Citrus Berry. Will anyone get it? Oh my good, someone's got it. I can't believe it. Boney52 has got it. Let's see what other one. Chocolate Bunnies from Ran Randy. Uh, cinnamon Banana from The Real Zinny. Cocoa Beans from Marshall. And Cool Bananas Tea from Tidmouth. Someone actually guessed it. I'm really surprised. I'm really, really surprised. Cornbread. Wonderful. <laughs> that would be a strange flavour of tea, wouldn't it? Uh, it's Cherry Bakewell, people. Cherry Bakewell. 
if you're American, you might not know, or, or anywhere that's not British, you might not know what a cherry bakewell is. It is a uh, a little pastry cake. Um, you've got like a soft pastry, and then you have white icing, like thick white icing and a cherry in it. It's called a cherry bakewell. They're really tasty. They're definitely not healthy. There's nothing healthy about them, apart from the cherry, maybe. Um, but they're super awesome, and you can get a tea flavoured like a cherry bakewell. And i gotta, I got to say... It is flavoured like a cherry bakewell. It's unbelievable. At least it smells like it. <laughs> so, we got uh, more noises in the ear. Silver Dreamcatcher 2525. Resubscribe four months in a row. Thank you for your resubscription. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, Ninja Dangles has subscribed with Amazon Prime. Thank you for using your Prime subscription on me. I appreciate it and I hope you're enjoying today's live stream here on the Hermitcraft server. It's got almond in it, says uh, Jay says Cannibale. Oh, you might be right. Yeah, there might be almond in the pastry. That's true, yeah. So, actually, I've had this for a while. I've had this green tea for ages, and I was just finishing off my other green tea. I've got that and salted caramel as well. They're like these Twinings promotional. I'm, I'm sort of going overboard at the moment, I just want to say. All of this dirt that I'm digging away right here doesn't really need to be dug away. I'm just going a bit overboard at this point. Essentially, I just wanted to get rid of that stuff close to the front that was kind of visible. And now we've done more than enough. Did I understood it that correct that the Hermitcraft 5 server is the Hermitcraft 6 server, says Data Shorshi. Um, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the Hermitcraft 5 server. Did you learn nothing from the Great British Bakewell, says... Uh, Jay says Cannibal Ale, the Great British Bakewell. I don't even know what that is. I know that there is a Bakewell tart. And, uh, wait, oh yeah, it's just those three blocks. Literally just these three blocks we're working with here. I actually kind of like the way this opens up here. I feel like we should leave it alone. Ah, well, the deal was to try and get rid of the, um, the dirt more so than it was to throw in anything else in this area. So we will do just that, get rid of the dirt that's visible. Ha, huh, I kind of thought though, whenever I look in that direction it gets super, look at the frames go down. Is it all of those particles from the redstone? They just go down to 23. Hmm, it's like 200 more entities, but who knows. So from down here, wow, I actually thought that was going to be like a crazy long thing to do. Because it looks super ugly, and I was like, man, we've got to clean that up. But uh, it cleaned up pretty quick, pretty easy. Yeah, I think that'll do. I think that'll look fine. The stream is quite framey, says Red Bright. It's probably just when we look in that direction that it goes a bit herky jerky. So, AZ Strongboy is here, resubscribing for seven months in a row of Amazon Prime, saying, do some full craft free. Love anything you do, thanks. Appreciate the support, man. Um, I'm not playing on the Fullcraft 3 server at the moment. I may be playing on it later in the season. Uh, but for now, that's kind of it, I guess. X, what is the plan for today? I just joined a few minutes ago, says Lego Ryan. Uh, the plan is to do some odds and sods over here in the base. It might not actually be a lot, you know. It might not be a lot to do. Oh, actually, no, there is. There is some stuff that will take a while. So next thing is to tidy up this area over here. I'm not sure entirely what we're going to be doing. Or entirely what I meant by that. Right, let's uh, pop up here. Bam. And uh, nothing for that. Chuck some of these things back in here. Also, do we have our one for grass and dirt? We do. Jay said, Cannibal Ale says, X, you got the Roman, you got the numerals wrong on YouTube and it's confusing everyone. Oh yeah, I forgot to go check that. Oh yeah, I put the, uh, I put the space bar in the wrong place. I typed a little bit too fast, I guess. Hang on, let's go change that. Oh, What? I changed it and then it changed it. did it change itself back? 
Weird. Okay, let's just do that. Right, it should now it should now be correct, peeps. Uh let's go truck these things away. Right. Six and seven, and eleven goes in there. People mentioned Hermitcraft 6, and now it's reset a week again, says Mike. Yep. Yep, we would have been playing Season 6 ages ago. Ages ago. Goodness me. You know, but everyone kept talking about it, so we had to keep resetting the date. Them's the rules. Don't question the rules of Hermitcraft. Yeah, I thought all of this stuff looked kind of ugly from over the side, so I thought we'd come and tidy this up. Uh, Melthen says, wow, it's really been a long time since last stream. I've forgotten how chilled and relaxing these streams of yours were. Last stream was yesterday, I believe. It's not been that long. Um, oh, let's boop -a -boop up here. And yeah, just tidy this up a little bit more as well. No reason not to. Uh, the frames have evaporated, says Lorelli. It happens when I look in particular directions in the base. Like the frames, just looking into this middle area, the stuff goes a bit herky jerky, you know. Um, I think what I want to do is tidy up. Like I don't like how you can see this snow, so I kind of want to tidy up and this bit here, tidy up a lot of it with some stone. Um, be cool if we had some night vision right about now. Right, so we're gonna have a border going up to there. I mean, th this isn't the most exciting stuff ever. I'll give you that. Uh, but we're literally just doing a little bit of tidying up here and there. Like, we've got a random brewing stand that doesn't need to be here. Bam. And uh, this can get picked up as well. That's a little bit of redstone that needs to be there. Man, looking in that middle area is super herky-jerky sometimes. Okay, apparently that one did need to be there, so we'll put that back. Why don't you just turn off particles, says Swedes Boy. I don't think it's particles. I don't think it's particles. It could be. I mean, let's find out. Video settings. Oh, no, I'm not going through that. <laughs> when it's when it's opt to find, it always takes me about 20 minutes to find it. It's just how it goes. Sure, could use some night vision, says Rubbish Dave. Destroys brewing stand. It's not that simple, though, is it? I've got to get all the ingredients together, you know. I ain't doing that. I ain't bothering with... Collecting some ingredients, jeez. What do you think I am? Right. Uh, I need to put down my ender chest somewhere and grab the stone again. And just tidy up these sides, they look a bit janky from in there. Um, so we got a subscriber. It is none other than Manuel Guga. Manuel, buddy, thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate it. I believe you are the same, Manuel, who makes things happen in the Assumiverse on the Plot World server. Uh, are you modded in chat, buddy? You should be modded in chat. We also got Inferno Rainbow. Resubscribe for two months in a row of Amazon Prime saying hey X today is my actually my birthday. Hopefully this isn't self-promotion. Happy birthday, buddy. I hope you have a good one. I hope you have a nice day and get up to lots of cool stuff. Can we get some happy birthdays in chat? For Inferno Rainbow? Such a nice name, you know. Bringing down the Inferno, putting a little bit of rainbow love in there as well. It's not it's not all grim. That's that's another thing that just don't need to be there. Uh, let's go like that. Anyway, what I'm trying to do is just from there, I want all of what you see over here just to look a little cleaner because it just looks so janky and awful. That's my thinking anyway. 
Betty Baghdadi says, X, you have been dribbling so much every day, brew, that you have started clickbaiting. What? I've dribbled so much every day, brew, that I've started. I don't recall dribbling every day, bro. Starters, jeez. Thank you for the happy birthdays in chat. Again, Infernal Rainbow, hope you have a good one. Uh, any pranking going on or whatever preposition in schedule, says J Jamea for Angna. Uh, we will be pranking Mumbo this stream. That's one thing that we will definitely, absolutely, 100% be doing. As, of course, uh, it's a thing that I do a lot when I stream. You know, I go and prank other people. Especially especially people who, when when you type their name in capital letters in chat, then I'm like, oh, we've got to prank that person, obviously. We've got to do it now. They've used capital letters. It's It's clearly serious. Serious business, capital letters is. You know, I always say, if you want to get something done in this world, use capital letters. You know, you're bound, you're bound to get a response. You see, ha Haruni is typing Mumbo in giant capital letters. That means we got to prank him. Clearly, clearly that's what we got to do. Can't even see over this far, but I'm going to remove, <laughs> remove that a little bit. The Durite is disgusting. Gonna get rid of that. Right, and then there is floating brewing stands there, and this awkward little staircase that needs to go. Cool. If only I had night vision, if only I had like a health potion or something. Jeez, jeez. Oh, I'm destroying a brewing stand. Oh, jeez. Jeez, right, let's uh pop down here. I don't even know what that was. I don't even know what that was. That was just that was just something. I'm going to let you stay there because you you're, you're not causing a nuisance. These little torches underneath just look odd. Uh, a lot of the torches around here though need to stay because that thing needs lights otherwise it lags like crazy. Like a crazy. Asuma says Ebs in capital letters. Now you've got my attention. Lava says prank Iskal. Uh, Isaac says false. Hangsma says iron. Prank iron? What? Do you mean prank tango? Oh, that, of course that's what you mean. Of course it's, it makes complete sense. President Truman and General Douglas MacArthur, the commander in charge of what happened between the United States and Asia, made a new plan, says Poxy. Okay. Okay, I don't know who these people are, but they made a new plan, peeps. They've made a new plan. We can all relax. Safe and sound, knowing that they've made a new plan. Uh, hi, I'm trying to put stone there. Jeez, where's the stone? It's all gone. It's all gone now. X, you made me trigger your anti-cap spot. <laughs> Don't trigger it, jeez. That's not a smart strategy. Yeah, Nightbot doesn't like capital letters. Prank Twitch chat, says Ollie95x said. Prank Twitch I couldn't even conceive of a way in which to do that. Some sort of false promise, perhaps. No, I, could, I couldn't do anything like that, could I? That's not a thing that I would do. Jeez. Here's what I'm going to do over here, though. Just a nice little trim there. If this stuff seems a bit... Ugh, <laughs> it really is. It's just something that I wanted to do. Make, make this area nice and tidy. Now, the snow, I think I might just leave there and fill in these big holes either side of it. Because the holes look kind of silly. So we've got another noise in the air. It's the Ozim. Uh, resubscribing for four months in a row. The, ro the Ozim, thank you for resubscribing for four months in a row. Wonderful stuff. Appreciate that support. And hope you're enjoying the stream. Prank Rendox, says Miner. Efo is the master of pranking his viewers. Ask him, says Kufa. I think he should ask me. Jeez. No. Um... Let's let's pick that block up. <laughs> Venusian says, as soon as live streams, come for the Minecraft, stay for the high class sass. High class sass, love it. Some upper tier sass going on here, you know. Th it feels like there's a rhyme happening there. Upper tier here, yeah, there was there was some rhyming. Poet don't know it. Clearly some rhyming. Uh, the noises, the, the ding-a-lings, they're happening in my brain space because my eardrum sending signals to my brain 
making me think that there's a sound there, whereas actually, actually the sound is simply just in my head. You know, the sound is an idea in the mind, okay? It's actually, it's actually just waves of energy hitting my eardrums, and my eardrums converting them into chemical signals going into my brain to make sound appear in my mind. It's not the same sound that you hear, it's the sound that I hear, it is unique to me, but it is also unique to you in your own unique way in the way that you hear sound. Uh, Conboy underscore is here, resubscribe for 24 months in a row, that's two years, that's a diamond face. Conboy says, diamond face, woot woot. Woot woot indeed, my man. Appreciate your support ever so much. Hope you continue to enjoy what we are doing here. Wodong says, more sass. Is there an outbreak of sass in the UK going on? <laughs> there might be an outbreak. A very, a very, a very specific location outbreak of sass going on right here. Um, I am oh gonna gonna miss one or two if I'm not careful here. Gran Granite Talia, Granite Talia has subscribed with Amazon Prime. So has Dylan Smalls one. To the both of you, I say thank you for using your Prime subscription over here on my channel. Appreciate it ever so much, and I hope you enjoy today's live stream as we apparently get sassy. Seems to be the thing. The theme of the day is sass. And pranking. Of course we're doing pranking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, right, I think we're done here now. It's it, Let's continue that diagonal line. To please us all. We like diagonal lines. Symmetry at last. Oh, I need one or two more blocks for something that we'll never ever notice again. We also got first person chef over here. Why are people putting bananas in chat? Oh, it's the same person over and over again. If you spam banana, you might get in trouble. Don't blame me. Uh, Convoy under... No, we've read that one. First Person Chef is here. Resubscribed for six months in a row of Amazon Prime. Saying, glad to catch a stream on my day off. Love your content. I'm loving Let's Play Minecraft together. Such a great series. The builds in the Never amaze me. And I think uh, starting off in the Never was an amazing idea. Definitely a refreshing way to start a new server. It, it certainly was, wasn't it? Um, the Let's Play Minecraft together server has been massively fun and inspirational and at the moment I'm on a little bit of a binge with it I, ju I just feel like it's what I want to do each time I uh, start playing some Minecraft you know so expect more episodes I guess BAM right we're done we're done with that that's me tidying up this little area so when you walk through there it doesn't look so janky and now we got strange lighting glitches well that's just wonderful you know that's exactly what I wanted from this project strange lighting glitches <laughs> Go on a pranking spree. Uh, assume a prank everyone, says Poxy. Well, that was kind of my plan. I thought I'd prank everyone today. Just everyone, you know. Not a big deal. It's not difficult. It's not tough. Kufuku says, you could prank someone on the Let's Play. I could, couldn't I? Um, as, I don't know. It's a little bit of a different environment to uh, Hermitcraft. Uh, at the moment on the Let's Play Minecraft together, so... Uh, on the Minecraft together, so... What did I just try to say? On that series, you may have noticed that I, um, I'm not really, I'm not really like base building or doing anything like that anymore. I'm just sort of orchestrating all the community stuff that's going on. I'm gonna come back and patch that up later. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because it has taken so much of my time to organise all of the, the behind the scenes stuff that I've just sort of focused on that. Um, and I'm gonna be orchestrating some more community projects. That looks a little bit like. Uh, like a random leaf staircase for a second as I walk past it. Our trooper says, Asuma, did you see my tweets? I told you I wasn't crazy. The random jungle wood and the pressure plates I was rambling about last stream made it into your Hermitcraft episode. Who's crazy now? Mwahahahaha. <laughs> okay, I'm still crazy. Um, I did see a tweet about jungle wood and I can't even remember like anything else. That was it. I think I remember seeing it and I was like, okay. Right, so this doesn't go anywhere, I think. No, it doesn't go anywhere and it doesn't need to. We're going to patch this up and then finish this little area here at the bottom. Make a massive evil X crushing the Mumbo Town. Think Godzilla smashing Mumbo's town, says Rustic Clown. That kind of sounds cool, doesn't it? Right, I'm going to have a sip of this cherry Bakewell tea now. I think I've earned it. Mmm. Mm. Surprise Tolba says, I enjoy watching admin stuff very much. By the way, people accidentally place a block on top of the mansion shrine. Um, they can. Like, it's one of those things. It's like, if someone goes there and intentionally breaks... Okay, so let's well, let's take a step back. Oh, let's take some big slurps. Big slurpy noises now. 
Oh, are you getting your ASMR? Oh, that's weird, that is. Jeez, what are you like? Goodness me. Right, ah, oh, wonderful. Ah, oh, wonderful. Why don't you chug your tea, says Harrow. It kind of sounded a bit like chugging, I think. Sounded a little bit like that to me. What should we do with this room? I think we should give it a little bit of colour, to be fair. I'm going to take out those two blocks. I mean, it's kind of like poked into this area here a little bit. Let's make that cobblestone. Um, by the way, we have uh, Mr. K subscribing. Thank you for subscribing with Amazon Prime. Greatly appreciate the support. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, let me let me explain. So on the Let's Play Minecraft Together server, what we have is a resettable woodland mansion. So that means once someone's raided it, you can restore it back to how it was. You will also get um, a trophy for completing it, a custom trophy that you can place in the game. Cup fans online. And eventually you'll get a token to go into the boss battle, and then you'll be able to get the custom sword as well. So, um, yeah, we have a shrine in which you put in the right ingredients into the shrine, and it will reset it for you. Now, the idea is not to to break the shrine and, aha, I've, you know, sussed out a way to destroy it. The idea is that we have things like that on the server that players should know. We, we don't want you to destroy this. It's a pain in the bum when people find ways to destroy things. Uh, one of the temporary measures we did, though, was to just turn people into... Well, sorry, give them mining fatigue, right? And so, by doing that, they can't break the shrine. You know, but if someone does find a way to break it, the problem is we know exactly who who does. And people, I don't know, like... I don't, I don't particularly do this. Maybe I have done it. Maybe I have done this before. But sometimes players sort of see something and try and break it. And it's like... Sometimes you just gotta not do that, you know, because it doesn't really make sense to do that. Why would you try and break this thing that's there to help you do this other thing? It's like, it's just an easy way to get in trouble, really. And because we can track everything that everyone does, I'm, I doubt, no doubt it's going to happen at some point. But the point isn't to go, oh look, it's trying to stop me from breaking this, let's go and break it. It's to realise that breaking it's a pain in the bum, you know, because then someone's got to come over there and fix it. X, that rain we had last night, I was sat outside for one hour, 30 minutes watching the rain and lightning. Also, so many places were flooding too, even the city centre. Uh, Camo J, where I was, it didn't really rain a lot last night and I kind of slept through it. It was the day before that we had the crazy lightning storms and it kind of woke me up in a bad way, in a bit of a bad mood. And I didn't really, like, watch the lightning and I really wish I had. I think that's something you should do. I think, like, when there's a lightning storm... Go watch it. Like, I know you might have things on. I know you might have reasons to sleep and get your rest, but I don't know. Just uh, I, I kind of a bit bummed out. I didn't watch it now because I was in a, I was in a very like sleepy state, and so I didn't really clock on. There's an amazing lightning storm happening because like the lightning was going so fast, it was just constant, and I was sort of like, oh man, this is crazy. I want, I need to sleep, and I should have been like, wow, this never happens. Get outside there and enjoy it, kind of thing. Oh, I hope it comes back anyway. I hope we get another day of crazy lightning storms. Uh, Betty Bag Daddy says, X, do you have any plans of a building a big base like the one on Hermitcraft or starting a massive project when we start building in the overworld again? Oh, right. I, I thought you meant on this server. Um, I have a plan. I haven't decided if I'm going to talk about this or not yet. But I, I now am um, going to talk about it. So when... When 1.13 comes out, I'm going to be very tied up in doing 1.13 related videos. Um, you know, secret facts and myth busting. And so I won't particularly have the time to invest more energy into playing survival Minecraft. So I do have some big and ambitious ideas, but it's not going to be the time or place to do that. So the big ambitious ideas is to create, on Let's Play Minecraft together, um, a ginormous, massive city. Um, similar to Scar's City here on Hermitcraft. So think about that build style. And we're talking about something that spans several thousand blocks. Thousands of blocks. And we're going to do that. So when, when the Let's Play Minecraft together resets. Resets? Bad use of words. When it, when it starts its new overworld. Because the overworld gets reset. But the rest of the world stays. Um, we will start a city. And this city 
will be absolutely ginormous and we will plan out tons of features like uh, shopping areas or malls um, we're going to build it with like fire stations and yeah that will take place on that server and that will be like a massive project that everyone can get involved in and then when we do live streaming I'll be like doing grindy stuff like gathering materials and helping people build parts of their skyscrapers and stuff like that is kind of what I'm going for Are you going to stay in the never? In Let's Play Minecraft together one 1.13 releases, says Harrow. I think I just sort of explained that. <laughs> I think I just answered your question immediately ago. Immediately ago? That's, that doesn't quite work, does it? Let's go see what we did in the opposite corner. Hey X, what is your favourite 1.13 feature, says Wright. And man. Um, oh, that's a really tough question. Or is it? Or is it? Turtles. Turtles, okay? Turtles are my favourite feature. Easy. Dopopolis Minecraft Edition says Hiddo. I mean, you, you, you're sort of right. You, you've kind of touched on it. Let's go for this. Um, so we've got some consistency. We're looking for blue wall, blue concrete, and then, yeah, continue that. Redstone lamp. That's a nice, easy thing to go with. Hi Turtle Man, is Evil X your arch nemesis, says Dragon Dream. Um, we're, we're friends now, we've sorted out our differences. XVX Turtle says Ollie95. Where's Pony Butts? Is Pony Butts in chat? Don't make me don't make me shine the giant butt beam into the sky and summon Pony Butts, okay? Cause uh, we we need her to make make some more emotes. I, I pressure her enough with that stuff. Pony make me some emotes, please. All the time. She must be sick of me by now, I tell you. Right, where's the quartz at? There it is. Are you telling me that I've got to break... Oh, oh, I've got to break the quartz. Jeez, that's silk touch. Oh, that means I need another chest out of here. Let's go grab that. That, uh, that fortune free. Bam, that's the one. There's the one that we need. X, you misspelled your YouTube video name, says Marcel. It should have been fixed. It should have been fixed. I'm pretty sure it fixed. Season 6 looks like Season 5. Hmm, is it clickbait, says Minecraft Matt. It was a misspelling. Jeez. I, uh, I, I, as I typed it hastily, the, the space bar landed in the wrong place. It's something that happens a lot. I do I do that a lot. I, I put space bar in the wrong place if I type quickly without checking it. Another mistake I commonly make, and this one's the worst. This one this one where I'm like, Brain, what is your problem? Um, wouldn't and couldn't and shouldn't. Words like that. I have an awful habit of getting the NT, right? Like, if I want to say couldn't or shouldn't or wouldn't, I don't include the NT. And when I want to say could, should or would... I somehow managed to add the NT. I've caught myself getting that one the wrong way around too many times for my own liking. It makes me think that I'm a bit of a derp, you know. Right, I already... Jeez, I already had one. I already had one. I, I said derp while I was doing that. Do you know what that is? That's a derp, okay? There was one of those in my inventory. There was one of those in my inventory. Right, I was just talking about being a derp. I mean... <sighs> this brain of mine, peeps, I want a refund. I want a refund. Now you have two. Good job, says the boom. Yeah, good job, me. Mega derp, says o o Osno Durking. We've had mega derps. That was definitely not a mega derp. I mean, you'll know, you'll know when you've seen a mega derp. Jeez, this, it's like the reckoning or something. Right, I kind of want to make this room feel like the uh, the same size, like corner to corner. So, put in those bits there. Ah, and I've run out of this material. I've run out of this mysterious material that I must try and scavenge and find from somewhere else in this world. Ah, there's a nice little deposit of it. Wonderful. X, you need a derp counter like Mumbo's spoon counter, says Uriox. I I had one of those. 
This is the strangest question because Mumbo has a spoon counter because me and Mumbo had a bet and he lost the bet and so my derp counter got converted into just a little entrance. That's what it got converted into. Isn't this music just absolutely wonderful? Yes, I agree with you, Asuma. See, I'm agreeing for you. Right, so let's go knock that out. Knock all of that out. That goes there. Ha, I need to grab the stuff. Bam. Uh, where's the water going to flow to now? Probably somewhere where I don't want it to. So let's do that. See, brain smarts. We had a dirt for a moment. Now we're having a brain smarts moment. Where I'm using my noggin, doing some thinking. You know. Will all generation be fixed in 1.18? From the snapshots, that is, says Hank Snow. I believe it is currently fixed. He rebuilt the spoon counter, says Tin17. I mean, that's the level of spooning going on there that needs to, needs to rebuild. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to drink some more of this cherry ba bakewell. He has learned to think, says the great mad hat. I've learned to think. I've been learning, right, speaking of learning, I've been learning about loads of cool stuff. My new things, my new thing at the moment is podcasts and listen to smart people talk about interesting stuff, right? Here's one I heard the other day. Now, I'm phrasing what someone else phrased, so I'm probably going to get a bit of it wrong. But, apparently fungus has properties of intelligence. Now, maybe not intelligence as you and I know it, but definitely interesting. And I'm also hearing like discussions about our plants intelligent. Let's use air quotes there. Um, if you think of intelligence as black and white, you're probably going to say no, plants aren't intelligent. If you think of it like a scale, then there are things that plants do that suggest some sort of level of consciousness. Probably a very faint or, you know... Again, think of consciousness on a scale, right? Like, animals are conscious, but they're not as conscious as us, some of them, because they're not self-aware, for example. Like, dogs aren't self-aware. Um, dogs can't identify themselves in a mirror. They like to stare at a mirror, but they don't understand what they're seeing. But they kind of know that it's, like, moving when they move, and they can't quite make the leap. But anyway, um... Man, where was I going with that? So... So maybe, maybe plants are conscious on some level. You know, they do things like they can, uh, the, like a, a flower in a field will sway with the sun in the sky to get maximum sunlight in and then at night it will close its leaves in a little bit and oh, there's all this amazing stuff I've been learning like um, there are there are things happening we can't see with our eyes like in the beyond the spectrum of light that our eyes can see like ultra, ultra violet lights um, apparently on flowers there are like little runway, runway lights that bees can see, right? But they're ultraviolet lights, so we can't see them. And they light up for the bees, and they show them light. Anyway, getting super duper off traffic. Off traffic, off topic, something. I'm in words. I'm trying to use them, but it's not going very well. So anyway, there's this fungus, right? And apparently, fungus it displays um, signs of, like, intelligence. Really interesting intelligence as well, not just some faint stuff. So anyway, here's this experiment that they did with this fungus. They took... A, a map of a train layout, a subway layout under a city. Tokyo was that city. And on all of the stations, what they did is they put, uh, I think, oats, something that the fungus wants to eat. And then they put this fungus in this environment for like 24 hours. And what it would do is it'd search ex exploratory, like, you know, it'd explore. The fungus would spread out and it would find the oats and then start to eat them for nutrients, right? But then what it does after like 24 hours, it then reorders itself to be even more efficient than the layout of the um, of the the Tokyo subway. How incredible is that? I think that's absolutely marvellous. But Budum Tis says, X, we are the universe experiencing itself. That's a wonderful quote. I like that one. We are the universe experiencing itself. Fun Gus, says Inferno Rainbow. Yes, Fun Gus. I've always thought Fungus was pretty disgusting, to be fair. Uh, but now I'm starting to think it's kind of interesting. You know, especially if we can do that. It's basically a subway engineer, peeps. You know. 
Let's get Fungus in in charge of our uh, in charge of the underground. Biology is very interesting, says Ozone Durking. I think a lot of things are interesting. I think life is interesting. Like there's so much stuff to know. I think loads of it is actually really interesting. We just perhaps sometimes are a bit dismissive of stuff. Who knows? Right, I'm gonna have a blue blue ceiling over here. I feel like this is that's just way too low, isn't it? That's the problem. How do we transition on the other side? Sometimes you've got just got to go back and have a look. Uh, Bugman CX is here resubscribing for 21 months in a row, saying just been catching up on your Let's Play Minecraft together episodes, and I can just say things are looking fantastic. They are looking wonderful, ain't they? Yeah, the Let's Play Minecraft together series is going extremely well. So it's only too high and half a block. Two and a half is what we're aiming for here. For, uh, Amazing Dave says, I think X is a fun guy, so obviously fun guy have intelligence. Jeez, well done. Well done there. Bugman CX, thank you for the wonderful support, buddy. Appreciate it. Hey X, I'm binge watching your Hermitcraft 4 series. It's, I'm at episode 510. I love the way everybody is together. Yeah, that's, that's something I miss from this season. The closeness, the togetherness of the community. I do miss it. Um, so I think what we were looking at was like that. And then this was all half a block higher. It feels so cramped here, yet it didn't at the other place. Eh, we'll make it work. I guess it's sort of not really ever going to be that big, this room, is it? It's just a tiny little spot to come and hang out. So I can put I can put those blocks there, but I can't really go any further than that. So we're going to need a block back there. I'll probably pick out something red. Uh, and then... Ah, now there it goes back by one block. Right, it goes like that. So let's do that. And I think we've got our shape for the ceiling figured out. Let's go find some blue wool. X, can you fix the lag? I've noticed in your videos as well, it's making it really unable to watch his Rares brand. Ah, it's not that bad, come on now. Um, I don't think I can, it's just Minecraft. It's been the same thing since forever playing this game. Just, you're playing a map for a long time and areas just start to get sluggish. It's just one of those things. You know, we don't have to go with red on the ceiling like we did on the other side. Oh, blue, sorry. I think we should go with red up here. I think that'll just look nicer. Uh, Science Gaming says hi again, passing viewer of Asuma. Hello, hi. Could it be the added glass recently, says Hang Snap? Ah, uh, I don't think so. I, what added glass? I mean, we've had the bit in the middle there for ages. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff going on here, right? There's redstone farms, there's sorting machines. Ah, we're out of red wool. Let's eat some food first of all. Been here since season three. I can't believe how different season five is from the other series. I love season five, but really miss the antics that go back to the agency and log fellas. I hope you bring this stuff back next season, says the orange pineapple. Right. Bam. I miss those kind of antics too, for sure. But this is a different kind of season, you know. F. Edwee says, can we expect new members for season six? I don't know. I don't know because it's been delayed again. It's another week, peeps. We just, we were like an hour under a week and then bam, back to a week. Back to a week again. Many of us people think that Minecraft is for potato PCs, but my decent PC barely runs full craft. Yes, um, the game is CPU intensive, so the better the CPU you have, the better it will play. Not so much true of the graphics card, really. You only need a basic graphics card, and the difference will be massive. Um, graphics cards do, or can, make quite a big difference on the game performance. I think the main area it helps is with handling um, large textures. Whoopsie, you're not supposed to be there. Is that Sass the Llama, says Zack Attack. I think it is. I think it is, you know. I think you sussed it out. Well, I kind of now want to 
Uh, that might not be a bad idea, it's stacking up a little bit. There we go, now you can't particularly look up and not see red, so that's good. And then that just kind of leaves us with the wall, which is pretty much like there's going to be no other material in here, is there? So, let's just fill in the space as we do. Ah, except... Ah, I guess it does go back a bit. Have you ever played Fortnite, says Corin Tower? I have not played Fortnite. And uh, I don't think I will. Not my kind of game, really. Video card handles all the shaders and block rendering. Everything else, like block updates, well gen, are done in the CPU. Pretty sure, says Token Good Bud. Um... Whatever it is that the graphics card does in this game, it's not a lot because you can get it you can get this game running on pretty like pants hardware in terms of graphics card. Before I brought the upgrade, um, I used to run this game and so when I say brought the upgrade, I mean upgrade my graphics card. Like this game used to just be like fine. And then I brought the graphics card and it didn't really make much of a difference and I was like, oh. And that's when I learned that they don't really make that much of a difference in this game. It might be not the same case so much anymore. Um, shaders, by the way, is something that I don't run, so I don't really know too much about that. Oh, that is actually the block we want it to be, but that one isn't. Yes, Minecraft is CPU and RAM intensive, says Smokey. I wouldn't say it's RAM intensive so much as that it, it, it uses RAM. Because it doesn't use a lot of RAM. You can run it on less than a gig. Easily, actually. Right, so the thing that we're missing from this room is a redstone lamp. And the place to put it would be on a wall that is five blocks wide. Can we put it there? I believe we can. There is nothing else here. Can we put one over here as well? It would look like we can. Wonderful. Is that my redstone? I believe that's my redstone chest. Oh, jeez. I wasn't supposed to do that. So we need two lamps. And wait, did I say two lamps? We need we need two two of each. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. The ceiling is blocked, says Birdie. What? The ceiling is blocked. Very good point, Birdie. I'll take you on that one. I think that's a good point to make. I think that's a very good point to make. The ceiling is indeed blocked. Uh, I would have learnt the hard way at some other time, wouldn't I? Bam. Ah, now. That looks a little bit ugly. I think what we'll do... Let's just chuck in some cobble there. Sweet, done. That's been needed doing for a long, long time, peeps. A long, long time. Finally, I've gotten around to it. Excellent. Simple little thing to do. And that is most of the base here. Pretty much complete at this point. Like, I think, I think that might be the last of all the inside jobs to be done. Your boy Noah says Fortnite for life. Oh, Fortnite for L-Y-F-E. <laughs> oh, I'm only messing with it. Ephelion says it's blocked because it's Minecraft. Yes. Yes, it is. GG. What in Minecraft actually uses at least one more gigabyte than you've allocated it for, says Surprise Tolper. Um, well, it depends on the size of the mod pack. It will use up... It will use up resources, I guess. Okay, and now I've got now I've got to tidy my inventory away again. No room for quartz apparently. Well, that's just rude. Let's go put you over there. Got any bone meal in here? Number ten. Number ten. Where's number ten? Wait, what? Eight, nine. Huh. Ten. You're in the wrong place. Jeez. How'd that happen? Uh, human pork rind is here throwing some bits at me. Saying Hermitcraft Season 6 premieres 1st of July 2025. What? That's seven years away. Are you telling me there's seven more years of Hermitcraft Season 5? I appreciate the support, buddy. Thank you as always. Thank you for the bits. Hope you're enjoying today's stream. Hanging out with us as we... Uh, we do little odds and sods around the base. Needed doing, they needed doing. I think my glass one is full. 
My lights will probably take those sea lanterns. Geez, sometimes I just want to throw this stuff away. Can't be bothered to sort it, you know? And that one there. We'll take that. Wonderful. Iron pressure plates on floor instead, says Hangsner. Yeah, that might be a good idea. That might be a good idea. I'll tell you what it probably ain't. Probably ain't a terrible idea. I don't think it's one of those. Uh, here's the thing. Can't have that water flowing everywhere, can we now? Good idea, my friend. Good idea. That's a good idea. When is Let's Play Minecraft Together Season 6, says Betty Bag Daddy. Now that's an interesting question. We're still on Season 1. What are you talking about? No pressure plates in there, apparently. Fair enough, I'll put them up the top. Right, let's tidy all of this up. Phantos1991 is here subscribing. Thank you for subscribing, Phantos. I appreciate the support. I hope you're enjoying the stream, having a good time hanging out with us, and thank you again. Number five, six, seven. Oh, eight, of course. Eight's already in there. What am I doing? Bam! Right. No! You know. I'm going to throw these away, just because. I knew it. I stopped clicking, but I didn't stop clicking too quick. Season round one, round... Oh, Amazing Dave, could you post that again? That was interesting. I wanted to read that out. And then these rude people in chat, they drowned your message. They buried it. They buried it alive with dirt faces. Why would they do such a thing? Oh, they're rude, them lot, I tell you. They're cheeky chaps. Uh, okay, apparently that just happened. Right. Bam. Oh, it doesn't bring up the recipe for you. Of course it doesn't. Rubbish Dave says, Season 1 was 404 days. Season 2, 487. Season 3, 493. Season 4, only 408 days. Season 5 is in 410. Are you 100% sure on that, Dave? What I remember is that each season has been progressively longer. That's the thing in my head. Like, I was dead sure that each season had always been longer than the last one. Huh. I'm sure, I'm sure that was it. Maybe you're right. Like, you could be right. I mean, I don't know, do I? I mean, it, I, I just play on the server. Jeez. I don't use my brain for thinking or counting or anything. I always thought it was longer, huh? I'm sure that like I I'm not I'm not saying you're wrong because it sounds like you've done the research and looked it up, but I'm sure that's not right. I'm sure it was always one was longer than the other. Cause see no, yeah, season four was the longest uh, I'm sure of it. When we ended it we like looked it up and it was the longest one we'd done. And people are saying maybe not then. Hey, X, been gone for a bit. What are you up to now, says Sorcerer Steven. Uh, we just uh, did the finishing touch on this floor right here. This one's now done. Finito. Finished. We're just putting in some rockets into each of the dispensers. So I've got lots of places to go pick them up. Apparently you got 1k viewers, Golden Delicious. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you everyone for tuning in and watching today. Be sure, be sure to hit that follow button if you ain't done so already. Get notified of when the derp goes live. And I go live a lot and I derp a lot. Um, tomorrow we'll be doing some city skylines, I believe. I've got a plan to build a special intersection. I looked up some designs and found one that looked really cool. Um, I also just want to keep building that city, just keep expanding it. I feel like the, uh, the trying to fix stuff like really kind of slowed down the fun. X, I need a beard update, please, says Birdie. It's still shaved off. 
not so much sad face anymore. I've kind of accepted that there is no beard. Kind of accepted that fate, you know. Apparently, apparently we're now 996 viewers. Jeez, four people just left. Oh, oh, such sadness. Why is that not shifting in? Okay, now it shifts in. Weird. Such sadness and disappointment. Nah, not really. It's all good. And now people are saying there's 1,000. Then there's 1,002. Jeez, gone up by two, six viewers. Jeez, wonderful. Right. Uh, I will take those ones with me. And yes, we are listening to organ music. Deal with it. Apparently 1010 now. We're getting live updates from chat. It's now 1010. Wonderful. Welcome those five new people who just happened to tune in. Probably wondering what we're doing over here. This one never works. Never ever works. I hate it. What was that? Did it just work with... Oh, it's playing tricks on me. It's trolling me. Trolling. Something I'd never do to anyone. Right, let's go prank Mumbo next. Um, what are we doing? This is super laggy here. I do, I'm starting to wonder. I think it's just this thing being horrible. And what says you, Sass? Talking to the parrot. Captain... What? Captain Convex. Oh, the cheek. The cheek of these Convexians, I tell you. Uh, apparently 1,118 following, uh, following, watching. Now 1,028. So apparently we're, we're gaining about three to four viewers every half minute, it seems. Wonderful. Well, welcome, everyone. 1021 now, says Turd. Jeez. Jeez. Just keeps going up and up and up. Where's the limit? Come on now, peeps. Uh, what, do, what do I even want to do next? I think I want to go work on the other area. Let me check my list of notes before we leave. Probably not going to do that. Oh man, that's really it. That's really it. Like the base, the inside of the base is now kind of finished. I feel like we need to... We need to immortalize this momentous occasion. Occasion? That's... Thank you, brain. Thank you for that one. I am live streaming. Yep, yep, yep. Let's put one of those back in our inventory. Uh, what what item, what thing that we could put in an item frame would represent this moment in time? Think about it. Use your noggin. What have you seen in the stream? Leave a comment in the comment box on YouTube. No, actually, just stay on this channel and put it in chat. Uh, so, Grutella Legends is here, resubscribing for 17 months in a row, saying the sky is the limit, X. Uh, Grutella, no. The lava is the limit, okay? No, I'm messing with you. Thank you for the resubscribe. Greatly appreciated. And I hope you're enjoying... I hope you're enjoying the stream. Hanksness is an iron pressure plate. I like that, but the iron pressure plate is... Um... It's like... It doesn't look good in an item frame, I think. Rocket, obsidian, numbers. Prank a mumbo. We're going to prank mumbo later. Hmm. Ender chest, someone said. Maybe, maybe there's a block that represents everything being done, but we could do the ender chest. And I don't think we've done anything else of significance, like no unique items or... Okay, so... Yeah, let's go, let's go with the ender chest, alright? Wait, where, where's an anvil? Why, why, there it is. Oh, 58 levels of XP, wonderful. Uh, what is the next episode number? What is even the format? Let's go, let's go grab this. I need, oh, I need, I'm so, so discoordinized. Discoordinized, new work, oh wow. New work, new word, goodness me. Oh, I'm feeling the pressure of all these new viewers tuning in. It's making me nervous, I can't speak properly. Uh, let's go check. Let's go to video manager. I'm sorry, I'm doing something on another screen. I know it doesn't look that great. Spangleboo says, I hope you've been f feeding and taking care of little Spangleboo, says Spangleboo. Little Spangleboo? Oh, the parrot. Yes, the parrot. Wonderful. Um, yeah, 704 was the number in my head. That's good. So the format is... Yeah, there we go. An evil Asuma Christmas. And then... Is that the name of the episode? It isn't. It's... It's just whatever we put there, right? So 704 will be the episode number.
Bam! So the next episode, that's what it's going to be for. Interiors finished! We have actually finished all of the internal work on this base. There's nothing else that I want to do to it as far as I know. 704. So it's been a fair bit of time since the last memento was put down. I might actually look back over those episodes and see if I want to pick a pick a keen episode out and put in an extra memento. Let's just... Should we take a walk down memory lane together, peeps? Let's take a walk down memory lane. Okay. And and we've taken that walk. Right, let's go back. No, I'm messing with you. Ah, oh, ah, oh, I remember. I remember. I remember. Oh, I remember all these things. Down with the brown. I remember that for sure. That's awesome. So many memories. Everybody derps. Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, did I duplicate the anvil? I think I duplicated the anvil. I don't know what kind of voodoo magic that was, but I think I duplicated it. So now only the biome project says Roy TG. Yeah, literally it. I think I can't think of anything else at all now. We have both of our ways to get up and down finished on either corner. We have pretty much completed I mean there's like yeah, we've got to hunt some mob heads for the mob head project. That's about it, really. And I'd I'd say that's finished. Yeah, wherever I look and think about what there is, it's all done. Now the very last thing to do is this down here, which we've done obviously. Ah! Ooh, okay, there we go. Secret entrance. Secret entrance into a secret room. If you haven't seen this place, you need to be watching those Hermitcraft episodes. You do. I love how that looks as well. That's wonderful. Now is this thing? Oh, scared me. This thing ain't like dropping any arrows and causing any lag that way. Go on, wreck him up! Wreck his face, wonderful. We got a record from that. I think this thing is probably full by now. <laughs> Who wants a record? Who wants a free record? I've got them all. I was thinking it'd be so cool if I opened up a little record shop. Um, like, you buy a shulker box with each of the records and a bit of terracotta to match it. That'd be so cool. Please drop the anvil from the top of the volcano, says Mossel. That'll just break it. It'll just be broken. X, did you choose either blue or lapis block to go between the floors of your base? Some weeks ago, you still got it mixed up. Uh, I believe we ended up using a wall. Oh, look. Oh, look. Some parts of it are wall. Some parts of it are lapis. That is just a little thing that you and I know about. Maybe it's a cryptic clue. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. It's definitely not something that I just happen to forget about. I'm going to leave it how it is. That's like a little detail there that you know about. Let's check the outside of the base. We've been locked inside of there for way too long. Because now with that phase on the inside done, it's all about the outside. We've got the black hole over here looking ominous. And tons and tons of land in which to build. I want to build uh, this thing next. Build a big old giant building down here. Wonderful stuff. Uh, Minecraft Psycho says X. If you opened up a record shop, I'd buy all of your Beatles records. <laughs> I don't think I don't think the Minecraft game has those sorts of records. Uh, Tonkylicious is here resubscribing for three months in a row as a tier three subscriber. Thank you so much for resubscribing, buddy. As a tier three subscriber, you can access the Let's Play Minecraft Together server. Go to assumeavoid.com. Uh, click on Get Whitelist on the left. I'm sure you know all of that though, because you've been resubscribe for three months but thank you my friend appreciate it mr phil 98 is here resubscribing for 10 months in a row thank you for the wonderful support man hope you uh hope you enjoyed today's stream thank you to the both of you appreciating all the support here uh cheese truffles says make a biome where the ground is made out of icing sugar and giant cakes sticking out of the ground from jelly trees that sounds really cool i'm gonna drink some more of my green tea build a iskal head full of dorite says vantos so what you mean is build a realistic Iskal head, you know? Let's just, let's just get simple here, you know? Just build a realistic one, that's all you got to do. Right, so this area over here, we've been waging war on mycelium, and the war will continue today, my friends. Let's remind ourselves of the beautiful work we have done in this area. I kind of really like having those mushrooms um, around the outside. Do you guys think that I should put down some more of them around the place, like all the way around these borders? So they look really cool. At least they look cool over here. Now there's some mycelium there. 
let's check out the extent of mycelium. If I remove this stuff, I'm probably going to need this material so that it matches the water. We may just let this little bit here survive. We could totally rip it out going all the way over to that space. But we'll leave that one alone for today. More mushrooms, say the peeps in chat. Well, you've spoken, I've heard you. You know, you have said things, I have received them. Sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? For now, though, we need to wage war on uh, some more of this mycelium. So, there's a little bit here, and then it kind of dries up. Yeah, I don't plan on removing all of that, but I do plan on removing this right here. Let's grab our shovel. Let's get to work. We need more games in the gaming district, says uh, Villez. I've been inspired. In fact, I think my plan is to... Oh, yeah, we need... Oh, well, that's why I had loads of them in my inventory, isn't it? I've been inspired to build a game on here. So, on the Let's Play Minecraft Together server, I built a game and sort of showed everyone what the game I had in mind was and how they could build other variations of it. And loads of people went in and built these wonderful ice boat racing tracks. Now, these ice boat racing tracks were more like tricky tracks, okay? Oh, that would be a great name if we built it here. They're like tricky tracks, which are, you know, challenging. They're not really about going really fast or anything like that. They're tricky tracks. <laughs> Sounds cool when you say it. Um, yeah, and all, all the peeps came on and they all they all built their own little tricky tracks and it was wonderful. But that was originally an idea for here on Hermitcraft. And for whatever reason, I didn't really go through the idea. I didn't think it was actually going to be that good. And, and then later on I was like, well, why don't we try it on this server then? And uh, we did. And wow, it turned out to be a really great project. Now I'm thinking I'll come back here and do that again. X, put the last disc on the opposite wall to the chests in the creeper room. Notice me, says Stormius. A uh, little bit late for that message, unfortunately, buddy. A little bit late. I am, um, you know, I'm, I'm in a different, entirely new area. A little bit late for that, unfortunately. Uh, we've got noises in the air. We have... Godly was taken. Godly was taken... <laughs> Has subscribed with Amazon Prime. Thank you for using the Prime subscription on me. I appreciate that. Hope you're enjoying today's live stream. Having a good time hanging out with us. That is an absolutely giant mushroom. It must be destroyed. It must be destroyed immediately. Because it is unbelievably massive. Right. All gone. And all gone again. You saw nothing, Mr. Cow. Don't you shake your bum at me. Goodness me. Isn't one ice boat track enough, says Villas? You've missed the point. It's a different type of ice boat track. That one there is a racing one. That's one you play with the other hermits. The one that I want to build is... How would you describe it? It's a tricky track. It's it's compact. It's not small. It's compact. It's got lots of challenges going on. It's a tricky track, is the idea. Tricky track. How many times can I say it? How rude of that cow to shake its bum at you, says the Guardian. I know, right? It's totally rude, totally uncalled for. The place that I originally wanted to build this uh, this idea, this game of mine, was in this space here. I could still use this. It would be a little bit cramped. Um, I guess what I could do... I could have the entrance here, even though the entrance would then sort of be you'd have this in the way. Um, well, we could build a tower going upwards and then we could move into this space a little bit. So I could fill up most of this and then spread out around there. Now the thing is, what am I going to do with the terrain? Because we're going to have a tower sort of take up this space and I guess you might think to flatten it and put one of these floors down again. And maybe we do that at this height. And do I want to do I want to contain it to a certain area here? I mean, one of the ideas is that the games overlap each other a bit, so we can have it go over the top of Mumbo's game and come back around again. That'd be a nice idea. Uh, maybe the same on this side over here. Uh, Couplex. All right, thanks. Uh, follow up question, Couplex. It's like it's hard coded. Surely a mod can change that, right? Or am I missing something there? Prank Mumbo now. Only 45 minutes left, says that sure. No, no, no. We're pranking Mumbo later in the stream. Jeez, I keep telling you about this. Goodness me. Why did X shave, says Dr. Anvil? Nobody knows. 
Nobody knows the answer to that question. Well, if one thing is for sure, it's that I want to um, get rid of the mycelium behind here. This big chunk of land that I'm standing on is ugly and disgusting. Isn't it? Isn't it, yeah? Ugly, disgusting cows. Oh, they got the fungal all over them. Oh, I see. I see. This axe has got silk touch. Villez says, I feel like X is not going to prank Mumbo. Really? With all the pranks we do on Mumbo, you think that this stream of all, I would just not actually go through with it, even though I've been talking about it constantly. Jeez, I feel like you don't really know me. It's my favourite activity, pranking Mumbo. It's weird how people actually believe he's going to prank Mumbo. Of course I'm going to prank Mumbo. Are you doubting what I'm saying? Are you acting like I'm trolling you or something? Goodness me. That is just highly suspect. Was there fungus in his beard, says Angst. Now, I hope not. I hope there were no fungus in the beard. That is not something that I want. Also, that looks kind of silly sticking out the back there. Does that packed ice even need to be there? I feel like that should be a window. Did I put signs on it? Let's go find out. I'm popping over here. I'm pinching this block. Can we make that jump? No. The answer is clearly no. Oh. Didn't know that was still there. Right, the answer is we don't need this. This would be much better as a window. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, that explains why we didn't get any of that back. That's the wrong block. Here's what I reckon we should put here. Uh, let's go with some of these. We should see out onto this area. And it will look amazing once we get rid of all that ugliness. Uh, Discruff says, am I the only one not hearing anything? Um, well, you can't hear me, so why am I bothering? So does X just not like mushrooms, says Dragon Dream. Can't say I'm a fan. Not a fan of those mushrooms, I'm not. Do you know, I'm half wondering if we should just cover this with uh, grass rather than tear it all up. It's kind of nice having a big bulk of land here. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's start a war on mycelium where we infect it with uh, grass instead. I think that would be a nicer thing to do. Uh, I'm trying to get to my ender chest. Did I put one in my inventory a minute ago? Peeps, didn't I put, a, didn't I put an ender chest in my inventory before I left my base? And then... Did I put it down somewhere in this area? I don't know. Hampstap says, X, wash the mycelium out first of water, then place a few grass. You're talking to someone who knows everything about doing that, and uh, it's not as easy as that. It really isn't. It's just not that simple at all. I could, yeah, I could have swore I took one out and put it in my inventory. You named it. Oh, of course, yeah, Mr. Gordon. Well, that makes... That solved that mystery. That makes total sense. We did do that, didn't we? I'm going to throw away some of this disgusting mycelium and mushroom blocks. We've got no use for it. No use for it. We'll keep the dirt, though. Keep the dirt. For anyone who just got here, we need to spam X to prank Mumbo, says Shasha. You don't need to spam me. It's, my, it's the agenda of the stream. It's so the number one thing I want to do this stream is prank Mumbo. We're going to get to it real soon. There'll be some typical prankage action from me, you know. That's what I'm known for on this server. Always pranking people, especially on live streams. So, we had all of this area in the middle um, to begin with. Had a little bit raised up. Let's bring back some of that shape.
The easiest way to place mycelium is is with slash fill. Oh, using using the old commands. Ah, oh, I see. Hey everyone, should we just use some commands to fill this all in? Should we just uh, should we just give ourselves loads of diamonds while we're at it? You know. I mean, I think I might as well just log out and uh, and not bother playing. You know, because I could just type a command that plays the game for me. Jeez, what would be the point of that? Oh, I do have more. I do have more on me. Cool. What about a giant can of spam in the middle of his base? Says I am Chambly. That's something we could do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, X, what spreads faster? Grass or mycelium? I believe they spread at the same speed, and that one's been done time and time again in the history of Minecraft, pretty sure. Not without torches, jeez, says Hangsner. Uh, we'll wait for the daytime for that bit. Right, now I need a way to have a lot of water up the top here. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, we will grab a little bit of ice. Won't need a crazy amount. Will that be enough? I think the answer is yes. Right, so do y'all see what's happening now? Y'all seeing this? The Nine God, God says, which spreads faster, grass or mumbo? Wow. Sleep, turtle, sleep, says Hangster. I don't want to sleep right now. I want to wreck mycelium. This is how I wreck mycelium. Oh, you, you can go back there then. If you don't want to play along, jeez. This is giving me flashbacks to doing this on my base now. Wow. Oh, yeah, Cubs online. Ah, well. I forgot about that. <laughs> I wonder if this stuff still spreads if you've got... Like, this kind of action going on. In the daytime. What spreads faster, derp or spoon, says Great Mad Hat. Well, well, there is one of life's great questions, I guess. I think it's, yeah, I think it's going to spread on to here. Even when we put the, uh, the thing over there. Jeez, that was beautiful English, beautiful English, wonderful sentences. It's spreading. And we don't want it to. Now here's the other thing, because there's not a lot of grass here, the mycelium is always going to spread a lot easier. Just something else we've got to contend with here. Uh, another thing to consider is we've got to remove the water after it's all turned to dirt. Probably going to use some sponges for that one, I think. Hey, Sumer, I was wondering, are you part of Mensa? What? Isn't that like a super brain smart people organisation? I mean, I don't think I would be. Oh, it all makes sense now. The reason why Asuma makes so many derps is because he's got a turtle brain. Slow brain, says Dragon Dream. Jeez, don't discriminate against turtles. They might have fast brains for you know. They may move slow but think fast. Sounds kind of clever, doesn't it? I should replace the ones they spread to with grass. Then they've got less of a chance of uh, fighting back there again. Asuma, I can't figure out how to sub, says Ornot Stieglen. I believe it's just underneath the stream, but I don't know either. 
I'll have you know, turtles are the smartest species on this planet, says Dranconia. I think I think we are. And then dolphins. And elephants can remember really well. Right, so the question now is what parts haven't we covered? Kinda looks like we missed a bit over here, doesn't it? Wow, that updated a lot of stuff. Uh, crazy about maths, says elephants. My memory is junk, though. Um, yeah, elephants. Elephants remember where their dead are buried really well, and they mourn them, and they go visit old sites where elephants were buried. I don't say buried. I believe that doesn't make. I don't know. Do I don't think elephants move corpses. But then there's these old sites that they visit with like lots of elephant remains. How is that? <laughs> as I try to as I try to explain it based off things that I once learned that I'm trying to remember, I realize it sounds even more interesting than I thought it was. Like what are these sites then? Someone in chat please enlighten us. The other impressive intelligent animal includes parrots, male cats, gorillas, and even dogs are impressive with their intelligence. Some elephants get stuck in mud, says Leon Animal. Oh, goodness me. Well, humans have done a bunch of idiotic things as well. I'm sure someone can think of an example. Jeez. X, when you say increase the size of the text box, do you mean increase the amount of commands it can execute or just make the box bigger? The box bigger, Cuplex. That was all I was asking. It doesn't matter anyway. It was just an idea that I had. Bam! Right, all of that's gone. Some humans get stuck in mud, says Super Brew. Exactly. Exactly. What kind of point is that? They're not smart, they get stuck in mud. Octopuses are super smart too, says in X2. So there was something else that I learned. Um, octopuses have like quite a lot of unique and fascinating abilities. And there is a, a team of scientists who... And th th their work is quite heavily scrutinised. Uh, but there's a fair amount of them who believe that octopuses may actually be uh, partly alien. Like, they think that in order to... For them to have all these crazy properties, like being able to change the colour. Um, apparently all of their like limbs are independent brains, so they can operate separate from the main brain. Like There's all these really quite mad and fascinating things about octopuses, and they actually believe, there is reason to believe that um, somehow, like an asteroid or something coming from another planet, you know, millions of years ago, perhaps brought some sort of genetic material with it in which the Octopus is the, the living day sort of fusion of life on our planet with that. Okay, so I'm not talking like, you know, little green men aliens going, let's put octopuses on this planet, alright, come in in their spaceships. We're talking about legitimate scientific understanding of how the universe works. But they get they get heavily scrutinised for, uh, for believing in this. And uh, it's only a small group as well. But it's fascinating that they, they like believed it enough, I think, to like talk about it. I thought that was interesting. Um, and some of the other properties they had were just fascinating as well. If X is actually going to prank Mumbo on this stream now, it's the time. But he doesn't prank Mumbo, he's trolling, says Villas. I'm not trolling. I don't do trolling. When have I ever trolled anyone? Or said I'd do something and not do it? Jeez, I mean... You know. I'm not that kind of person. Goodness me. Okay, uh, I need to go check something. Aha. Right. What we need to do now... Got the water flowing everywhere. Gonna put a couple more over here. Gonna leave this alone for a bit. We'll finish this project off super soon, I'm sure. Um, let's chuck that in there. Chuck these things into here. I'll pick those up. And I'm looking for something in here. 
There it is. There it is. I need I need a sign because you know if you prank someone, you need uh, you need a sign. Of course you do. Otherwise they won't know they've been pranked, right? All right. Hey X, you want some <laughs> organic vegan spam? Organic 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 vegan spam in in chat? You mean? I don't even know what you're talking about. Right, I'm going to need an ender pole here as well. Wow, church music over here sounds pretty good. It does, doesn't it? It's wonderful. Okay, okay. This is the spot. This spot right here. Oh, jeez, I'm such a rebel. I'm such a rebel. Oh my god, jeez, quick, right, we better log off the server. We better log off the server, peeps. It's been done. Okay, Mumbo's been pranked. He's never going to know who did that. No one tell him. No one tell him, by the way. Oh, jeez. Thank you, everyone, for watching today's live stream. I do hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks to all the people who subscribed, resubscribed, donated, and cheered. Thank you for your support. And uh, what we'll be doing right now is a raid on another channel. Another one. There's more channels out there. It's not just this one. Jeez. What do you think this was? Um, so I keep getting told about your mango streaming, but it looks like your mango isn't streaming yet, so uh, we won't be raiding on mango. In fact, what we'll be doing is picking a random Minecraft channel. So now you're just going to go somewhere out else out there into the the Minecraft world, and hopefully you'll enjoy what we see. It'll be a random channel, so no idea uh, where I'm sending you. But anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye bye.